Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Smash Out on the ZX Spectrum. I'm playing this on my plus two as usual, but the first thing I'm going to do before I even get into the game is because it can because I pulled this out of a box of of games that I picked up recently, and I thought, oh, that looks good, and I'll show you the screen. So there we go, stick it on the screen right now. So there we have it. We got a starfighter bursting through a wall with a co-pilot in there. I mean, and it's a cool looking ship. Let's be honest, it's a smart looking ship that one. In to total with bite marks at the top as well. I'm not entirely sure what child was biting it, but it's got bite marks at the top if you look at the top paper. But anyway, so there we are. It's bursting out. Brilliant. Okay. 199 range, so budget game. Um, but And now I'm going to read you the the, 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 the inlay. I mean, because we, you know, we'd read these in back, in the back, back in the day. So here we go. We've got the flagship of the uh, Quanta Federation um, Armada trapped inside the hollow planet of Zoltan. I'll say it again. Zoltan! Um, only one way to escape. To use the craft to deflect plasma probes at the uh, planet's crust. Um, only when this is done can Commander Zaplan uh, escape. Um, the slimmest of chance coupled with the greatest risk, risk makes for the highest, highly addictive game. Well, I mean, I mean that's superb, isn't it? I mean, we've got a spacecraft bursting through in there. I mean, from my point of view, I was thinking, God, yeah, we're going to get a shoot 'em up here. It's going to be a full-on shoot 'em up. No, that's not what we've got. That's not what we've got at all. I'll tell you what we've got. I'll wait till you see. Here we go. We're ready. We're going to play the game. So we're going to go slow. Um, we're going to go with the preset game. Yes, we are. Uh, we'll go with screen one. It's breakout. It's very fast breakout. Ah! Oh! Yep, it's breakout, and and it's not very forgiving. Now the the difference about this breakout rather than the usual type breakout is you see that little yellow block at the top, which is sort of a hashed yellow block. Well, that little block there, if you hit that one, that's the end of the level, so you don't actually have to go through the whole thing. However, you've got to also hit it dead center of the bat, pretty much. Otherwise, it doesn't actually bounce because it seems to be a little bit between um, being there and not being there. The ball seems to bounce before it gets to me. If you notice, it's like a block before it gets to me, which is quite weird. So one, if it gets past that invisible block in front of me, you've, you've had it. And it doesn't even look like a spaceship. You'd, I would have thought, I was actually, when I, when I read it, I was like, oh, right, okay. I love that, by the way. Absolutely adore that way of dying on Spectrum Games. You know, when they, all the colours come down the border. It's brilliant. I love that. I wish I knew how they did that one, because that's such cool coding, that when you get all of that palette sort of splashing away, almost as if it was loading. It's brilliant. Anyway, so, yeah, let's have another go. I'll try another level. So we'll do a slow and uh, predefined. And uh, number two. So, I mean, other than being sort of a, a breakout where you kind of float over the top of your... Oh, your bat. When it kind of hits from above. And the fact that it ends more simply. There we go. End of the level, you see, because it hit that thing. Well done, level over. Brilliant. So we've got another level. There are a few blocks that do different things. I'm not entirely sure what they all do. That, that, that Clearly the ones that are sort of the, the cyan box with the box inside it makes it go super small and super fast, um, which is fine. Okay. Now, am I right in thinking that Steve Jobs and and and, and Steve Wozniak were responsible for this? The guys who who effectively were were, were Apple. Uh, were they were they the original creators? Of, I love that screen thing. Were they original creators of Breakout? I think they were. I, I get the feeling that they were the original creators of Breakout. Anyway, so we've got we've we've got that smash out great, what fantastic. You know, it does does what it does, and it's fine. But here's the here's the here's the exciting bit. Well, it would have been exciting if I'd bought this as a one ninety nine. I'd be I would have been chuffed with this because we'd have made all kinds of things. We have a screen editor. We can actually change the screens. So we're going to do that. So we're going to do number two. We're going to do number one for edit the screen. And there we go. So that's a screen that's obviously the first screen of the five. I think you only get a total of five to change. So we can edit the screen and change it. Great, fantastic. That's great news. I like that. So um, first we're going to do CLS. I'm going to clear the screen, um, and then we're going to use um, Bazaki's um, QA um, IO, um, which is fine. It works for me. And let's now let's make something appropriate. Let's just uh, just think about this. I have, I have an idea. It's a cunning plan. Here we go. So there, there. Okay. Uh, that one. That one. That one. 
that one. That looks about right. Okay, let's go. Let's go with that one. Now let's put some let's put some 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 exits in here. Let's just have a little look at that. And then let's put another one white one there. I just had to, just 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 I, I mean I, I I don't know. I feel inspired right now. I'm feeling inspired. I'm feeling inspired by by certain people's love of this particular character for for the spectrum. Um I'm not entirely sure if, why they love them so much, but uh, they definitely have a love for this particular character. Um, I think I've gone a little too far. No, I haven't. I'll go like that. Now, if I just get some red here, we can just finish this off nicely. And uh, we'll just stick stick one there and stick one there, stick one there, stick one there, stick one there. Stick one there. And if we put one there, and one there, well, it looks very egg related to me. I suppose we can smash him up now, can't we? So we'll, we'll end on we'll end on that. Hmm, I'm feeling all dizzy now after making that. I'm just making my head spin. Um, <laughs> user defined. Here we go. There he is. And I've actually finished it in a single single shot of the ball. How brilliant was that? Now it just goes up to level 2 of this, so you only get one user defined level, which is a bit of a shame. Oh! That's gonna go. Oh! Oh, so we only got one user defined level. But I tell you what, that would have kept me entertained for, a, for, for at least half an hour as a kid. You know, trying to be able to develop my own more difficult levels and then getting your mates to try it out. Like, go, give it a go, give it a go. You know? Mine was very egg related, though. Anyway, that was the that was the very budget title smash out. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Please um, take time to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.